Hey everybody! Welcome to Crafting by the Pond. This is Paula, and as promised, here's my craft room. Um, here we go. <laughs> so, I have a non-traditional craft room, but it is all mine. Um, so, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so, right here in this bookshelf, um, I have all of my punches, my Stampin' Up! stamps, um, various bits and bobs. You'll see cat toys, because <laughs> I have a cat, and she likes to be in here when I'm in here. So, and we come this way, and this bookshelf, oh, I'm a huge Beatles fan, um, so yeah, there's a lot of artwork in here. This is my happy place, so... Um, there's a lot of medical books there. Um, this is here my um, where I keep all of my pocket letters that people send to me. And there's just some bits and bobs. Um, those are some of all the cards that I've created. Um, bottom shelf is just kind of school stuff. Nothing too exciting there. Okay, so, and that's the door that leads out to downstairs. Um, I keep my washi tape in here and all of my ephemera packs in here. Ooh, that sounds terrible, sorry. Um, trash can goes here and then this tub under here has a lot of my stuff that I use for my friend mail. Um, and there's a bunch of stickers and everything else in there. Here is my craft table. Um, this is just, I'll take a step back so you can get a good view of it. Um, it does take up a lot of real estate in the room, but I have room to work <laughs> and I can leave a mess. And this is just um, one of those kind of craft tables that you can get from Walmart. And my husband uh, fixed um, some wood on there for me. He's very handy, my husband. Um, so yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at him, shall we? Oh, this is my desk. So this is where I film, right here. Um, and I have two chairs, again, cat. Um, <laughs> so usually when I'm filming, she's sitting right there. I don't know where she's at right now, but she'll be around. Um, there is that beautiful picture of the birds that I got from the Hobby Lobby. No, uh, Tuesday morning. So that's just some pictures. There's my handsome husband. Look at him. He was so young. Ah. Uh, my house mouse, because I, I love the house mouse. So I frame those. Um, I am a huge uh, Linus fan of the Peanuts. Only Linus, nobody else. Um, because that's what I call my husband. That's not his name, but, um, there's a photo, not a photo, it's a painting that my daughter did. And it's very, very large. As you can see, there's like the top of the ceiling, and then there's the painting. So, she did a beautiful, beautiful job with it. Um, and then my son, yes, my son, um did a needlepoint for that and it's Sally with Linus and it says my sweet baboo because that's what I call my husband <laughs> and I called him Linus again but that's not his name okay so here is where I store my um, cardstock oh you don't want to see my trash can sorry <laughs> um, my cardstock this um, unit is a music stand that we purchased from an auction and it's perfect for for that so and let's come over here here's my closet this closet is a hot mess <laughs> and it's gonna stay that way because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that um, it's my Stampin' Up! bag this is the bag I took to the beach with me but okay so I'll show you half of my shame you're not I'm not opening the other side okay so this side I have my Cricut over here and this thing stays in there. I, I don't ever use it and I should 
but I just don't. To me, it's just a hassle. Um, those are all my 12 by 12 papers, and I save, like, all of my cardboard and chipboard in there. Um, and I get a lot of my chipboard pieces from the cat food <laughs> because they send, they have this extra piece of cardboard in there, and they are perfect size to like make little um, trifold journals and they're already scored and everything it's fabulous um, so this cart here I just have like a bunch of miscellaneous stickers and just kind of junk I've collected um, and I don't really know where to put it this here this basket here has um, a bunch of like holiday stuff this is all my holiday stuff and they're labeled like Christmas you know by the holiday down here are just some uh, random wood stamps that I have that don't really have a category but they had to go somewhere right um, there in that bin you know I have a spirograph you guys I'm I'm a fan of that I, if you remember those from when you were little um, these are bead sets that um, I used to when my grandchildren come to play um, when they come to visit every summer we make stuff for crafty and um, ribbon and just junk, junk, junk. This is just stuff in here that I don't always go to, but I like having my paper here because then I can kind of pull everything out and see what I have. Okay, so that's my closet. And now we're going to kind of turn. Um, I hope you can see. Okay, so here's where I store all my Spectrum Noir and Stampin' Up! markers. That little thing I picked up, this white thing here, I picked up from the thrift store. I don't really like it, and I'm sorry that I bought it because it's not very functional for me. So that's probably going to go out to the curb. Um, this is another piece of furniture here that we purchased at the auction. Um, and it's great, and it's all like junk. And I'm not... <laughs> I didn't have time. I, you know, this is my craft room. I'm, I, you know, I'm in school full time. I wasn't going to organize everything so everybody could see. This is, you know, this is kind of reality. I mean, there's, it just kind of is what it is, you know. I store, I do try to keep all my baker's twine in here, though, so I know where it is. And Lord knows, this is a hot mess. I don't even know. Oh, there's some Martha Stewart markers in there. Oh, I didn't know where those went. Okay. Um, this bucket here, my grandchildren are coming to visit in July, so I've already kind of got, like, their stuff. Like, I've got, all year long, I buy the um, items from Michael's or whatever when they have those $4 bags, and I usually try to wait until they have, like, end-of-season stuff and get all the little crafty projects that they can kind of do because they love, love to do stuff with me. They'll wake up in the morning. They'll be like, Gma, what are we doing today? So <laughs> what craft project? Okay. So, all right. So you come here and that is my desk. I used to sit here and craft prior to getting my craft table. Um, so normally this empty spot right here is where my big shot goes. I actually don't even have a big shot. I have a Fabby, the fabric machine one, the fabric die cutter, and it works just the same fine because I think I bought that probably like two or three years ago when it was on sale at um, Tuesday morning. And because I, I wanted, always wanted a big shot, and you know, they were just so expensive, and I, you know, I just refused to do it. Um, so this here, monster of a thing is another item that we picked up from the auction and initially when we bought it we thought oh this is going to be great you know so I have some house mouse stuff in there um, but the bad thing is with this I I don't I can't read this what <laughs> this writing is so I don't know what's in here so I, what I usually do is like these little drawers this I think it's like an herb cabinet or something and um, I store my little ink spots in there and I always store them face down because um, so the ink will be set at the top and not all sink to the bottom and dry out oh see and I've got embossing folders um, not embossing powder different there's just little things scattered all throughout there 
this is my corner of shame. This, <laughs> this corner of shame, um, that um, tote right there has all of my packing supplies when I send friend mail and whatever. That is my scrap bin. And this is, I don't know what the hell that is. I, <laughs> I just don't even know. Um, it's, it's like a collection of like plastic bags and um, boxes and different items. Oh, and my guillotine cutter is down there if you can see that. Um, so whatever have you. And that little box right there. I love, love, love that. Here's that book that I picked up recently from the thrift store that I paid a dollar for. And then this little guy here, I picked him up from the thrift store yesterday. And I kind of need to leave the lid on that up because I thought it was a cute little storage box. But they had like stinky potpourri in there. So I'm kind of airing it out and hoping that I'm successful. Okay, so I'm going to try not to move too fast because I don't want anybody to get sick. Okay, so now this beast of a thing here, I'll show you again with the Linus. You know, I'm all about the Linus. Um, this um, piece of furniture came from Germany when my husband uh, finished his uh, tour in Germany. So I was very honored that he gave this to me um, because this thing is a beast. And let me tell you, it can hold some business. Um, this shelf over here, um, you can see the wood is different because he just put those shelves in for me a couple weeks ago. The bottom shelf is the lost abyss. <laughs> I don't know. Again, that's like the hidey hole spot. Um, this shelf here, that's like Happy Mail stuff, little notebooks and what have you. My yarn is in the back. Um, sewing material, pencils, um, um, just, those are just colored pencils. I like watercolor pencils and my husband is so sweet. He thought he was buying, um, uh, watercolor pencils, but no, cause yeah, he's so sweet though, you guys. Um, this box here. Um, has all of my, um, like my junk journal stuff in it, and it's so heavy and I can't pull it out with one hand. Um, but I try to keep everything together so I can kind of find it when I do have time. Um, this bin right here just kind of has some flowers in it. Um, this one has some Heidi Swap stuff in it. Um... This, let me just get this out of the way and I'll go through that with you guys. Um, again, I'm a control freak and I kind of am an or organizer. My bows and rosettes go in there. Journaling cards are in there. Buttons, brads, and clips are in there. And that's just miscellaneous. I don't know where else to put it. Um, this box here, um, stickers, uh, chipboard, and bags, tags, and um, boxes. Um, this is my flower maker, my envelope punch board, and I have the gift box maker. So that's this cabinet. Oh, here is where I store that right there, is where I keep all of my, um, my dyes um, in this thing. And I, I use this because I ordered some bins for my freezer, and this one didn't fit in my freezer, and I was like, hmm, I'll take it. Um, so that's why it's kind of an odd shape. I hope I don't make you guys sick. I'm so sorry. This is kind of hard to do. Okay, so that's that closet. Now, this unit has glass. So the top shelf, those are my Stampin' Up inks. I used to be a demo, but not anymore. Um, all of these boxes ha are clear stamps, and everything, of course, hello, is labeled Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween, uh, clear stamps, block alphabet letters, thank you sayings, birthday flower, Father's Day, um, and down here is just a container that, these are the, um, flowers that Kristen made for me, and I, I don't know what to do with them, and I like to look at them, so I kept them out. 
Um, this little bin is just like, I don't know. Ooh, having a cupcake. Sorry, guys. Cupcakes all on the, cupcake liner fell on the floor. Um, back there is some more cards that I've made. Um, and this bin here has um, all, some of my newer clear stamps that don't really fit in anywhere else um, or I haven't had chance to put them away. This side is mostly my vintage stuff for my uh, junk journals and um, the crafting that I've been doing re recently. Look at that back there guys. <laughs> yes, I have one of those bad boys. Let me just tell you. <laughs> like I don't even know why I need it anymore because I have the other but sorry about the glare. Again, the glass. Um, so up here is just kind of, that was my son and my daughter when they were younger. I don't know. Can't see my son. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if you can see him now. Yeah, that's my son. Um, these are just some of my favorite stamps that I leave out. And if you've gotten happy mail from me, he always stays out because he's my go-to guy. Um, again, the Linus. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, House Mouse sayings are in here. Thanksgiving, fall, Easter, House Mouse, um, and my peanut stamps. This second shelf um, is my crate of just where am I going to put this stuff? I don't know. Um, oh, and back there is some um, happy mail that Kristen had sent me too, and I just haven't put it away yet. Sorry, girl. I'm being a little busy. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's go down below. So this opens up and this drawer pulls out. And these are my um, just other stamps, miscellaneous that are not stamping up. And again, I store everything upside down to preserve the life of the ink. Um, my crocodile, all of my um, eyelets. Um, oh, there's some buttons in there. I need to move those. Um, and just various doodads. These are some older punches that I don't use them very much. Um, and I don't really care for them. But guys, let me just tell you this thing here. If you put brads on, um, not brads, but eyelets on anything or this thing is the bomb, and I love it, love it, love it. Um, and so you can um, Google the ProvoCraft and um, get this if you don't have it. It's it's awesome. Awesome. Love it. Okay, so now down here, um, there is my heat gun and my embossing powders. These are some buttons in here. Um, glitter, um, a Martha Stewart doohickey. I don't even know what that is. Uh, metal templates. Um, and more glitter and some flocking powder. This all stays down here. Um, so I know where that is. There's my tray for my embosser. Um, and then this container here is filled with um, the crafty scissors. Okay, and we got to stand up because I old. All right, so this next one door here, these are all my wood stamps. And there's some of them are labeled, some of them are not. <laughs> um, down here is just, um, look at this glitter glue, you guys. My husband, I love him to death. For Christmas, I asked for art glitter glue, and this is what he bought me. <laughs> and I was like, no, sweetie, it's actually called art glitter glue. He goes, yeah, I bought you art glitter glue. That's what I got. <laughs> so bless his heart. And then these are some stashy items that I have for my grandkids when they come. Um, and I kind of use those, you know, if they're bored or whatever, I'll pull something out and we'll do that. Okay, so we're going to get up slowly because I don't want to make anybody sick again. And as you can see, this thing is banged up and whatever, but you know what? I love it, and it has character. <laughs> so this other side, 
Up here is my glue gun and my fuse tool is in there. Um, that's where I keep all my stationery for the little notebooks that I make. Um, here's my Project Life stuff. And then I have some crepe paper because I'm going to learn how to make those rosettes, Mary Beth. And um, paper. This is the paper stash. Um, I like to do stuff that's already made. I can, you know, cut and score a card, but um, cardstock to make a card, I just don't like to. All right. Um, these are just various different pads. So, like when I tell you guys I don't need paper, I don't need paper. Um, bits and bobs, scraps, and what have you. Back here is um, already cut uh, cardstock fronts. Um, Here's my ribbon stash. I don't have a lot of ribbons. I'm not a big ribbon person, but I'm getting into that um, mode. This container here has is just all kinds of embellishments and what have you. I like to keep my embellishments and stuff close to me, especially because I stand right where I'm standing right now to craft, but I face the other way. Uh, down here is just different scraps of paper, envelopes, um, and then mailers and padded envelopes. And I think there's a couple stencils down there. So, okay. So, trying to move slow. I don't want anybody to get sick. Okay, so now let's look at the table. All right, how I have my table set up is I like to have all my stuff like near me. So I don't have to go looking for stuff, right? Um, there's my Misty. I don't use that very often. Um, I'm a clear ball, uh, block kind of girl. So I really enjoy that. And I got pens and different things there. Um, I like to keep my distressed oxides here. And then just these are ink pads here, are just different uh, kinds of black ink. Um, my sprays are there. Um, and then this just kind of this container here just has various different things in it. Um, I keep my tea papers in here so I can just kind of look at the file to see, okay, like I need to make some tea paper because I'm starting to run out. And um, I also have some pre-printed stuff um, for some journals that I'm going to start working on. Um, I have to show you that container when we get to the other side. Oh, this is just some stuff. I didn't, see, I told you I didn't clean. I'm in the process of doing a, a mermaid pocket letter swap. So I kind of covered a lot of the stuff up so nobody could see. Because, um, Kristen, I know you're watching this and this is for you. <laughs> um, here's my laminator. I love that thing. It is my favorite. I like it a lot. So I use that. Oh, and I almost forgot. So, right in the corner here, um, in this uh, area here, I keep my, let me just pull it out. I keep my um, paper trimmer and my scoreboard in here. And this just has stuff just, you know, that I recently picked up and I don't really have a spot for it yet. And my extension cord. Um, this drawer, top drawer is a bow, uh, bow bunny drawer. The second is just various pieces of ephemera that um, I don't want to forget that I have. Um, and this is um, just some stickers and miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, this is my Kane Company drawer. I wish I had more in here, but I don't. Um, so working on that. Um... And then this is just some um, bags and various junky stuff. You know, we all have those areas where we don't really know what to do with. Okay. So over here is uh, my glue gun and my glue sticks. Um, I watched a lady on YouTube, like, make this glue uh, tray. So I had an old um, silver kind of tray and so I got a um, this has got that's so disgusting I'm so sorry <laughs> um, but this holds my glue gun because sometimes when you 
put it back like in the holster, whatever it the glue drips out, so there it doesn't get all over everything. The, uh, here are some pom poms, and there's the happy mail that Daniela gave me, and some shells from the beach. And this is a photo that I put on some tea paper because I'm doing a junk journal for my son. Um, he's a history medieval history major, so he's heavy into that. So, um, okay, and this last item here. Look, there's the Pocky that I bought from Hala, and I was going to send it to my son. i got to get his journal done. <laughs> um, and this little thing here, it opens up, and I just, like, have all of my glues in there. Um, there's tape, um, extra stuff in there, just... I like it because this container, because you, you put the lid down and it, it, it looks less cluttered. So, anyway guys, oh look at my Bubba. I, I'm so lazy y'all. I fill this Bubba up with water and when I'm crafting, I drink that so I don't have to keep running down, up and down the stairs to get something to drink. Can you be any more lazier, Paula? I don't think so. But anyway, okay guys, so this is my craft room. I hope you enjoyed, and um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comment box below, and I will get back to you soon. Bye!